Hey everyone, I know Hello. you saw us here today, but we are back again. Back There's more again. things to read. Yeah, exciting weekend. Yes, very much. And we uh, we got to see the Falcon and Winter Soldier. I saw it Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night. Gary finished it up last night, I think you said. I watched it this morning at 6 a.m. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, so just the stage of life I'm in. <laughs> so, but yeah. yeah. So the Falcon and Winter Soldier – um, I was, this was one of the, of the series that I was actually the most looking forward to. Like, I'll be honest, like with WandaVision, um, that for me was more like, okay, I really don't care about the storyline per se. Cause I know the comic storyline and I just always thought it was kind of dumb. Um, like what they did in the comics anyways. Mm-hmm. And so I really didn't care for those two characters anymore, just to be honest. But I watched it because I knew I had to, because mm-hmm. tie into other stuff. But this one was one is like I can't wait to watch this. Yeah, uh, I can't wait for these two. The trailer looked awesome, and so here we are. It's finally here, and uh, kudos to Marvel for not being scared of the Snyder Cut, which yep. there we are I already mentioned it in this video. But yep. kudos to them, and uh, but they probably knew people like us were going to watch it regardless. It's just a matter of when. Yeah, yeah, I was excited for this too because both these characters in every movie they've been in. I've always like I want to see more of that character. I want to see more of Falcon. I want to see more of Winter Soldier. You know, um, and when it, when this was announced, I was like, okay, that that that's that's gonna be good. That's gonna be exciting. And uh, so far, in my opinion, no, you know, first episode didn't disappoint. You know, yeah, yeah, it was was oh. was pretty good. It was uh, it was very much a first episode of a series, if you mm-hmm. know what I mean. Very much a pilot episode, mm-hmm. which pretty much what they did is just they catch you up with where your characters are. And then they gave a quick sneak peek of what could be happening in this world now to these characters. Yeah. And so that's pretty much, I mean, and, and thing is we saw this, and obviously the events of infinity war and Endgame game changed everything in this universe. Um, mm-hmm. Spider-Man far from home had to, here's where your characters are. WandaVision, Here's where your characters are. Um, you know, now Falcon and winter soldier, same thing. And honestly, it'll probably still continue. Yeah. The first episode will kind of catch you up to where everyone's at. And mm-hmm. then they'll start to get into the story. But they did, uh, in my opinion, show you some pretty uh, some pretty cool stuff. So I guess let's just go ahead and dig in here um, with some of the good. And I will say for me, Gary, right off the bat, the opening scene with <laughs> Falcon mm-hmm. was a whole lot of good. Yeah, it was um, very good. Yes. Yeah. But he felt very – like I felt like he was he – was, the new Captain Falcon, you know, like he is in the comics. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Can, like, even the whole scene in the plane was just like, he's being just like Cap. And when Captain America was yeah. a soldier, yeah. he's being just like him. This is awesome. And he has the confidence. He knows what he's doing. And then he, you know, takes, if you haven't seen it, we're going to try to leave all the spoilers out of this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so go and watch it. It's just 40 minutes uh, mm-hmm. in case you haven't seen it yet. But the opening scene of, of his mission, let's say, and how it pans out. It was just great. I love, yeah. I love that whole thing at the very beginning. Perfect way to start off the series. Um, the good for me was, yeah, I'll throw in that scene too. Um, you guys obviously know if you've been watching this since the beginning. I'm very big on character development, character driven, and this episode, in my opinion, was exactly what it needed to be. It wasn't, um, you know, it's not. If you're expecting to see him as the new Captain America right off the bat, it's not what you're going to get. Um, he, he's hesitant, as as most people would be. I mean. Oh, yeah. talking about big shoes to fill, you know what I mean? And then they're both uh, dealing with different things, and it's very character-driven, reestablishing what they're going through. And um, and also, I, what I liked about this is the same thing I liked about WandaVision. They're showing the ramifications of the blip, blip you know? Yeah. People, you know, all, you know, they disappear, and then five years later, millions and billions of people just come back, you know? Right. Um, it caused a lot of issues in both cases and the world is still trying to recover from that. Um, and I like that you know, they're, they're dealing with that because it would be, that would be it wouldn't just fix everything. <laughs> you know? um, so yeah, it was, it, it was a lot of good in this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I like seeing too, how speaking of character development of how with, with Bucky, who's the winter soldier, uh, in case those don't know mm-hmm. with him, how not only now is he dealing with PTSD from the life that he lived under the control of, of Hydra, mm-hmm. but now he has to deal with trying to get plucked out of a world again because of the blip and then getting plucked back in five years later. 
So this man has all kinds of PTSD. He's Holy working through. So yeah. like they really show you a lot of his struggles and how he's trying to make amends um, for for his past sins, if you will. Um, and and honestly, like so, it's funny because you see like Falcon is more upbeat and it's kind of fun and it's you know you see his good heart and things he wants to do, and then you see Winter Soldier, which is a lot more somber and sad. Mm-hmm. And it's just, man, this guy is dealing with some stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see how these two end up working together. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've already kind of seen it, uh, you know, like in Civil War. They're kind of at each other, throw yeah. a little bit. You see it in Endgame, like you saw it at the, you saw it a little bit in Infinity War. So to see how these two are going to end up coming together, I think is going to be very interesting. Which is probably the best thing about these Disney Plus series mm-hmm. is the character development of it all. We saw it in WandaVision, now we're seeing it here with this. Yeah. Yep. It is very. Uh, you know, I got a tango. You know, when they do, you know, come together, I, I'm, I'm, I got a tango and cash. Uh, Murtal and Riggs vibe, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Two different yeah. struggles, but two struggles, but two very different struggles, and I'm yeah. excited to see those collide. Yeah, yeah, and just seeing again, but and it all comes back to, you know, Falcon had his life. He had a good life. He loved it. He gets pulled out from the blimp, and now he's trying to pick up the pieces. Mm-hmm. Winter Soldier, his whole life, blip life. Oh man, it just. I think it's going to be, yeah. So yeah. and uh, hopefully that's going in the right direction. And then the ending scene I thought was great, just to because the thing is the ending scene made me mad, like mm-hmm. not like mad like this is stupid, mad like I'm mad for for yeah. Falcon, you know. And it's really like, good memes you? though, huh? It's given us some really good memes already though. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yes. yeah, it was yeah. You felt yeah, you, you felt the anger and the disappointment. You know? Yep. So yeah. And so, uh, so moving on. Any bad here, sir? That you that you may have saw? No, not really. I mean, it was it was pretty solid opening. It was a pilot episode, if you want to call it that. Re, you know, did everything it needed to do. It wasn't the greatest thing I've ever seen, but it was a really solid opening to this series. You know, yeah. um, so I mean, I mean, I could probably try to think of something, but you know, yeah. <laughs> I know for me, I will say, because I even said something with Katie, the only thing that drove me nuts was some of the camera angles, especially like mm. when he was talking to the to the therapist and like they had this weird, like, they only see this much of your face. Yeah. Kind of camera angle with like the sunshine. It just, that kind of drove me nuts because it was like a while of that, of back yeah. and forth. There was other, some scenes that kind of did that weird, awkward close-up thing. And I was just kind of mm. like, why? Like, why can't we just see that. them talk? Like, it was yeah. really weird. Uh, but but that, but that had nothing to do with the story or anything. That was just yeah it's, again camera angle stuff. I was like, why did they do that? Like, I just yeah. didn't care for it. Yeah, and it's hard. It's hard to find, you know, in, in a forty minute one episode. You know, <laughs> like right. they did what I was hoping to do. But yeah, it's, I, now you mentioned, I know what you're saying with mm-hmm. that. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I think <laughs> yeah. And I know, and I know with these other with these other two ladies and gentlemen, I know we normally do pastor and dad. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, right now, I think we're just going to kind of combine those two because again, it's a pilot episode. Yeah, it's not like it was a movie that's going like we just still don't know the full story. We still don't yeah. know where it's going. Um, so I know for me, uh, again, like it just for the pastor and dad portion, it's just kind of like I don't have much to say yet because. We're, Still, we're trying. Yeah. We're just doing this one episode. There's not really a yeah. lot to gather. So yeah. for me, I'm going to save those two for maybe our series finale mm-hmm. review. That's a good uh, idea. Yeah, so. I just I'll say you know so far I recommend it. Check it out. You know, yes, a fan of the Marvel universe. Um, these are really good characters. Really solid characters with interesting stories. They're not Falcon's not just flying around being Falcon, and you know mm-hmm. I'm the new cat, and he's not just going around. I got a metal arm. They're, they're yeah. struggling with stuff and uh, makes it yeah. very interesting. Yes, the real people, and they bring that. And like I said, they catch up at the speed. They show their humanity. They show what they're struggling with. And then on top of that, they still have to do things to save the world. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, or save whatever they have to save. And mm-hmm. so just to see in this tug and pull. And, and, and it's a lot more interesting because these are two superheroes that don't wear a mask. Yep. You know, like it, it, it's their face, it's who they are. So yeah. they're going to naturally have even, it, yeah. even more conflict. What's that? Yeah. Every, like everybody, yeah. It's like there's one scene where it's like, hey, you're, you're, did you play for LSU? You're the Falcon, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So. Yeah, exactly. So like it's it's going to be a lot different for them. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be very interesting. It's not like like a Spider Man, if you will, um, who is trying to live a double life. Like that's mm-hmm. a different set of problems. But mm-hmm. these guys, you know, they're on the face. Everyone sees them. You know, Falcon is doing his thing. Like I don't want to spoil it too much, but his job, if you will, and stuff. And so there's a lot of that. But it was a good, solid, a solid open. Like I said, you don't really get to see the Winter Soldier in action, per yeah. se. You, you see what's going on with his in his head more and what he's trying to deal with. Um, but you do see the Falcon in action. And and if I will say this, I'm excited for the series because of the action sequence we saw with Falcon mm-hmm. and the little like flashback action sequence that we saw with Winter Soldier. Yeah. Those look great. So if there's going to be more of that in the future. I think this, this thing has got a lot of promise. Yeah, if they're going to give us action shots like that, then we can deal with a weird angle during a therapy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because exactly. they were – they were incredible. Yes, especially how that Falcon scene ended up, which I won't spoil anything. That was that was that's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was awesome. So. And then uh, and then just trying to see what ends up happening, and and you don't see any villains yet either. Like nope. the sort first of, thing, not really. it's just kind of like sorta, but yeah, it just like, who that guy, you know? Yeah, so like we know, I mean, I'm not spoiling anything. Like we know Baron Zemo's in it. You see it in the trailers, so you know there's something with that. You know, there's something with this "quote unquote" new Captain America. That's that's already been talked about. It's already been in trailers. So mm-hmm. it's just like, so you know, all this stuff's going on. Now we're just trying to figure out. It's not like Wandavision, where it was like, what the heck is going on? And you yeah, have no, no idea. We kind of we kind of know what's going on. We're just trying to see how it all fits. Yeah, exactly. How it all comes together. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, uh, any final cool. thoughts, Gary? Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, long day. Long day. Uh, yeah, you're not boring me. I'm very interested in this. I just. That 6 a.m. viewing is starting to hit me. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> no, I just, I just, all I say is recommend it. Check it out. I'm excited to see what they're going to do. Is it 10 episodes, eight episodes? How many episodes they talk? Something like that. Either somewhere between. I, I forget what they've said for for which series. I don't know, but somewhere around there. I don't think anyone goes over 10. So maybe yeah. eight or nine. I don't know, something like yeah. that. It'll be my Friday morning viewing. I'm excited about it. Yep. I think uh, go ahead and watch it. Jump on, jump on this uh, bandwagon here. It looks like it's going to be very good. Not like WandaVision where you're kind of like, uh, and it was kind of sketchy. I know I keep going back to WandaVision. That's the only thing we have to compare it to. Yeah, really. But, yeah. But, uh, but I think this will, I think this one will be really good. Different kind of storytelling. Um, so I think, I think it'll be great to see where it goes and hopefully, um, we'll be able to keep up with reviews. And I don't know if we'll do it every week, Gary, but maybe, okay. maybe we do every other week or something and just kind of, yeah. Talk about it. But it looks yeah, like it's gonna know. we'll be here talking about something. So join us. That's right. Join us. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for joining us uh on this quick review of Falcon and Winter Soldier, like we said, pilot episode. Not whole a whole lot to say, um, other than it was a solid pilot episode. So mm-hmm. go check it out, get on board, and let's see where this story takes us. Yep. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Goodbye.